guys. So I'm going to make some dinner. Um, I'm just gonna do some brown stew chicken and white rice. I have my chicken in here. Let me try to um, scoop this over so I can show you my chicken, which has been seasoned up for a couple, it's been seasoned for a couple days now. Um, a good couple days. This is what my chicken looks like. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm just doing this as a quick video because I didn't do anything today. It's Sunday, I was meant to clean. So I'm gonna clean late tonight or maybe just early tomorrow morning. I'm just gonna cook some dinner. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna show y'all what I'm using. It's gonna be a quick video. Hopefully it's no more than five to 10 minutes cause I really, I want something quick to edit. And this is real time, that means this is Sunday. Um, I've already washed all my vegetables. Look at my scrawny carrot, but like, I um I want to put it in there. Um, y'all not seeing the, the carrot because my poor carrot is is done for. But I still want to put it. I don't want to be wasteful. I'm just gonna throw these pieces in there. Um, let me get rid of the and bits yeah these the carrot ain't cute okay so i'm not gonna really show it um these have already been washed i'm gonna cut up i'm gonna cut up these little tiny ones my time has i don't think i washed them. um how i'm doing it is probably going to be very different from how you're doing it if you want to leave advice let me know. I'm just gonna, like I said, if you remember a couple vlogs ago, these parts were ugly and I said I was gonna cut them off. And plus, thank you for the subscriber that recommended putting um, the scallion in water. I did that, I put some water in my mason jar and I put the scallion in the door of my fridge because it's very, I bought a lot. Um, I'm just gonna cut these up a medium size just to throw in. And then I also have more to throw in like halfway when the food's done cooking. I just want it to cook along with some fresh pieces. But like I'm saying, I have more to put in when the food's halfway done. So it's gonna still have some color and not be welted down. If you get what I'm saying, right? Can you see? I hope I can see. Um, I'm gonna cut this piece too. channels how do you do it there we go this is better there we go there we go there we go all right what I'm gonna do now is literally just mix this up I did cut up the chicken a decent length. Girl, I'm about to use my hands. <laughs> I don't ever use spoons or forks. Um, and look at me using a spoon to mix. Yeah, y'all get the vibe. So I'm just gonna keep doing this. The oven ready. What I'm going to do is um, burn some brown chicken. No, brown chicken. <laughs> Burn some brown sugar, which I have in this container. And uh, yeah, get the pot ready. 
and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so oops. I just put some sugar in here. I had tested the oil first, so that's why you see some of them are already a bit dark. But I'm just gonna watch it. I'm gonna keep stirring. I'm gonna let it get dark and fluffy. Two beautiful adjectives. Um, yeah, I've already put browning on the chicken when I first seasoned it up a couple days ago. So we're all set on that front, but this is gonna give it some nice flavor and some extra color. Um, I have the pot on, I have the pot on low because I don't want it to burn too quickly. It's starting to caramelize. That's how like you make candy. So this is exactly what it's looking like. Um, I'm actually turn it up a little bit more because um, I did turn it down all the way to low. So I'm going to put it on two. Just so I can have it cook up a little bit more. Alright guys, so I threw my chicken in because my sugar was starting to burn. I was talking some big talk. <laughs> I had to move quickly. So as you can see, it already has some beautiful color. I'm not a cooking channel. I'm not the best cook either in the world. I'm literally just... Oh my god, it smells so good. <laughs> it smells really good. I wish I could package the smell through the screen. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna actually turn it up to medium because my chicken was my sugar was burning, and I was like, mm -mm. let me turn it back down. So I'm gonna put it on four, which is not technically medium. It's just I don't want it to burn. Yeah, so you can hear it frying. When I threw it in, it was actually frying. It made the little frying noises that you guys are used to. But if you have any tips, if you have any recommendations on how you do things, drop them down in the comment section. But yeah, I'm gonna add ketchup, I'm gonna add water. I didn't wash out the bowl that I had the seasoning in. I just simply added some water to it because that's what I'm gonna add. But I'm gonna leave it now for about five to six minutes. I'm gonna put this right here. So I just put the lid on, I'm gonna let it simmer. Um, it's not on very high, so it shouldn't burn. Um, ooh, it's so beautiful, you can already see the, the smoke. So what I'm gonna start to do now um, is prepare my rice. Yeah, I'm just gonna prepare my rice now because then my rice can cool down and by the time I'm, the chicken's done and I'm ready to share it out, the rice won't be too hot. So let's see see that all right so y'all see how the chicken is basically drying up and it's brown to the to my liking I'm going to add some ketchup which I've already shaken up I'm at a good amount because that's what I want to do I'm gonna mix it up mix it in there mix it in there and then Give me a second, let me grab the water. I'm going to add the water from the same bowl. About, about that much. You can see it's kind of getting dark around the edges. It's because of the, I don't know why. But um, <laughs> it's the chicken's looking fine. Everything else is looking fine. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw in the that rest of the water. It's gonna cook down anyways. Yeah. Remember, I'm not a cooking channel. This is just what I know to do. Um, do it your way, but also leave some helpful advice. Oh, was a piece of onion that was on the container. All right, so I'm gonna. Leave that alone for a little bit. This is what it's looking like. Yeah. I'm gonna just add some water. And then I'm gonna put the stove on high.
yeah about this much water i'm not gonna show y'all just in case y'all be like that's too much water <laughs> but i got my rice got the water ready actually So the rice is on high um, and then I'm gonna just bear with me guys bear all the way with me add some butter I cook with a heavy hand so I know y'all gonna say that's too much butter but really it's really not that much if you really look at it compared to the amount of rice there is it's really not that much on um, butter. Actually, what I'm gonna do too is move some of the rice over so it's a bit more layered. Not layered, but even, cause one side, it was slanted. Let me just rinse my little spoon off. I'm gonna let it cook, like cook, cook. And then um, when it gets to boiling, this is how I learned, when it gets to boiling, turn the pot down and put it on low. Put the lid on and since my pot this is my favorite pot to cook rice in since it has this little thing i get foil paper to cover it up to cover basically the whole thing up because the steam i need the steam to cook it when i put it on low and i put the lid on and i leave it for like 15 minutes and then my rice is good so i'm gonna be back when that's set what i'm gonna do now is cut up the vegetables for the chicken um because the chicken's basically done i should have started this earlier but sidetracked um yeah and that's basically it if there's anything else that i have to come back for i'll come back and let you know but i'll basically be back when it's done um so yeah this is basically what i was talking about and um all i'm gonna do is turn the pot all the way to low to the lowest setting i'm gonna put this foil paper over it obviously i have the um camera in my hand right now so I can't really put it down like how I would. Put it down. You see how the steam is still escaping? I put it down so the steam doesn't escape from the pot. And I'm gonna let that cook for 15 minutes. Um, 15 minutes and I'll be right back. So yeah, that's basically, basically it. Everything else is hold on. There we go. Yeah, and that's it. All right guys, so the chicken is done. The rice is done. I fluffed it up already. This is what it's looking like. Um, I'm about to share up my food. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great night. I'm gonna go edit this right now so I can get it up tonight. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow.